the following brands have in one way or another contributed to this video. Hey everyone, my name is Max, welcome to my channel, and in this video we're gonna talk about Halibanton Fusion 2. Again. This time specifically about what's the difference between these two, the HSH, or I would say a standard version, and the HH Floyd Rose version. I actually have a full, very detailed review on this one, on the HSH, part 1 and part 2. If you didn't watch that yet, I'll give you links to those videos there. Most of what was said in those videos applies to the HH Floyd Rose version as well, but not everything. Therefore, in this video, I'll only concentrate on the differences between the two. If after watching this video you still have questions about this HH Floyd Rose version and want me to make a full run, a full review on it, well, that can be done, but you're gonna have to let me know about this in the comments below. Well, first of all, I have to say there are three different versions of Fusion 2 guitars. The first one, the one I call standard, is the HSH version, and it comes with 24 frets and a Wilkinson tremolo. This one has a maple fretboard, but there are also options with ebony fretboard and with a roasted maple neck. The second one would be the HH Floyd Rose version, and it has all the same specs as the first one, with an exception of pickups configuration and the tremolo, which is Floyd Rose 1000. It also comes with a maple, ebony, fretboards and a roasted maple neck. That's the one I have. And the third one, the other HH version, was actually released like half a year later, and it is kinda a mix of the first two, and at the same time it isn't. So it is the HH guitar with two humbuckers and with Wilkinson tremolo, not with the Floyd Rose. But humbuckers have covers, and they sound completely different. It also comes with 22 frets instead of 24. And there is no maple fretboard option, only ebony fretboard, and a roasted maple neck. Well, this third version sounds very different to the other two, first of all because of pickups, and I don't have this guitar, therefore in this video I will concentrate on the first two versions, and I may be doing something on this one later, I don't know yet, that will depend on your feedback. The price policy is pretty simple, at the moment the standard version would be 299 euros, and if you want a Floyd Rose, just add another 50 on top and the roasted maple neck would mean another 100 euros on top of the standard price. So if you want both a roasted maple neck and a Floyd Rose, just add 150 to the standard price, that would be 449 euros, and that's the most expensive Fusion 2 HH Floyd Rose roasted maple neck version. Prices may vary, for example, sometimes there is B-stock and you can get this guitar for slightly less money. I'll give you links to some of them in the description below, and even if you don't need Holly Benton Fusion 2, please check those links anyway, because that supports the channel. Okay, now let's take a look at these two and try to find any significant differences. I mean, there are obvious things like two humbuckers here and two humbuckers on a single coil on this one, Floyd Rose versus the Wilkinson, but other than that, they really look very, very similar. The only other visible difference on the body is that the back plate on the Floyd Rose version doesn't have the hole for strings through the bridge, but you don't need that with the Floyd Rose, do you? Necks do look similar, although all roasted maple necks don't come with a matching headstock, and instead of this glossy fretboard, they have this matte or satin kind of finish. But all other essential things are the same. Fretboard radius, 24 stainless steel frets, and the same C profile. Headstock shapes are the same, Tuners are different. This one has WC staggered locking tuners, and the other one comes with non locking grovers, which again makes sense for a Floyd Rose and makes it easier to control string edging with its standard size shafts compared to short and staggered shafts locking tuners have. On the front side, the HSH version has a string tree, while the Floyd Rose version, of course, has a retainer for all six strings and a locking nut instead of the GraphTech nut on the HSH guitar. And you guys ask me about this all the time does it make sense? to pay extra for a roasted maple neck, and I'll tell you what, it is a look and feel question. The roasted maple one simply looks a bit fancier and feels a bit smoother, just check this out. I think you can hear the difference. That's all there is to it, really. Let me remind you that the HSH version comes with three Allen wrenches. The HH one only comes with two, and here is why. Unlike Wilkinson Tremolo, a Floyd Rose only needs two wrenches for a full setup. 
instead of 4, so the HH guitar wins 2 points here over the HSH version. Additionally, one tool is missing for the HSH, which adds one more point and the gap between the two in terms of penalty points is getting bigger. Ok, now let's get to less obvious and invisible differences. Some may think that because of the Floyd Rose, the HH version may be heavier, as you will see now, it's not the case. And even though Floyd Rose itself is slightly heavier than Wilkinson, the overall difference in weight is compensated by other things and is pretty much non-existent. But what I was really surprised to find out is that these two guitars are not the same length. The HH version is slightly longer, about 5mm longer than the HSH one. Where does that come from? Well, even though headstocks look the same, they actually are different, specifically in the region between the 0 fret and the 6 string tuner, and that is because the locking nut needs more space than the regular one, so they had to extend this part of the neck in order to accommodate it. Ok, we're done with the look, so let's get to the electronics. The humbuckers themselves are actually the same on both guitars, and we're only missing the single coil pickup on this one, but because of that it comes with a 3-way switch instead of a 5-way switch on the other guitar, and that is the source of the biggest difference. Considering the coil split switch, this guitar has 9 different sound options in total, and this one only has 6, which is a pity because you can get much more than that from two humbuckers. So with this guitar we're missing all those middle and bridge and middle and neck positions which make this guitar so great and versatile. But does the middle position on this one get any close to the HSH? Well, let's find out. As always, for the clean sound I'm using amp number one, which is Eros of Black Space. Well, as you could just hear, instead of 5 different middle and in-between positions, this guitar only has one. Well, technically two, but only one of those is usable, which immediately makes this guitar way less versatile than the HSH model. Which is a pity, because Floyd Rose is so much more superior than Wilkinson Tremolo in terms of tuning stability, and you can do this... <laughs> And it will still stay in tune. Wilkinson can only get you this far. Or. And you 
gonna have to retune eventually, so no real dive bombs on this one. With all that being said, I really wish there was a version of this guitar with a Floyd Rose and with HSH pickup configuration, because that could really be an ultimate strat replacement. Speaking of mods, I'll definitely swap the coil split switch to a three-way switch, such as inner coils may be used separately, and replace the pickup switch with a five-way super switch to get more sound options. Well, who knows, someday I may go as far as drilling a hole in it and installing a single coil pickup. We'll see about that. Wow, you've made it to the end of this video! And I'm very happy about that, because first I can say thanks, and second, not many people make it this far. It would be really great to hear back from you in the comments below, not necessarily about the topic of the video, but just, you know, to say hi, for example. If for some reason you like what I do here on this channel and want to support me, there's Patreon, I'll give you a link to that in the description below. And other than that, subscribe or don't subscribe, whatever you feel like. That's it for now, and I'll see you in the next video someday soon.